Now we will look into the similar and common criteria of neurocognitive disorders. And there are specific criteria uh, depending on the type, uh, maybe typology, dekhi, unki se. Lekin this is what we are going to see, which is common for all those, and therefore there is no point of repeating it. So I'm going to talk about the similar diagnostic criteria for all types of disorders which we have seen uh, recently. Um, so number one, a criteria is that evidence of cognitive decline from a previous level of performance in one or, or more of the cognitive domains. So one or more cognitive domains can the decline aata hai compared to the previous functioning. Memory intact thi, focus chitra kar raha tha, executive functioning thik thi, learning thik thi uski, matab thik thak wo uh, seek raha tha, uh, seek sakta tha, uski andar capacity thi, but somehow something gone, gone wrong due to all this typology and uh, the cognitive functioning got declined. Now, what are those cognitive uh, domains? For instance, co uh, complex attention, executive functioning, learning, memory, language, perceptual motor, or social cognition. Now, um, all these, these uh, faculties, which are cognitive faculties, have been affected based on. Number one, concern of the individual uh, uh, knowledgeable informant मतलब ये के uh, दूसरे लोग अब्जर्व कर रहे हैं दूसरे लोग जो हैं वो रिपोर्ट कर रहे हैं या देख रहे हैं कि there is something wrong with this person this is not the same person इसको याद नहीं रहता इस चीजें रख के भूल जाता है लोगों को पहचानता नहीं है फोकस नहीं कर पाता you know इसकी जो जाहरी बात है जब आपका um, और या language में बाज दफा बात करते करते the person is unable to find words uh, so language, uh, percep perception, perception, language, social perception gets affected. Uh, so in a way, jab ye bozada, uh, iski severe condition ke andar, complete dependence ho jati hai because person is unable to. So many times people forget if they have eaten. Sometimes they forget they have not eaten. You know, they keep on repeating things uh, because um, they, they have forgotten that they, they have even prayer mein baithenge to kafi dafa. Because we will forget the prayer, so we will forget the prayer. So, this is why we observe kar rahe hai, a knowledgeable informant or clinician uh, can actually see or shows the concern that there has been a decline in cognitive function. So, individual ke alawa, usko shayad nahi pata chal raha, lekin dusre dekhne wale ird gird ke log jo hain, wo in, unko wo, they, they realize that there is deficit or decline in cognitive function of the individual. Number two, impairment in cognitive performance, preferably documented by standardized neuropsychological assessment. Ek to aapne, ek ka aapka source hai, the significant others or clinicians when the person is taken to um, somebody uh, in medical setup and uh, they observe that something is wrong, uh, the person is unable to concentrate, focus, whatever. But another uh, um, feature is that you have a neuropsychological assessment ke through or koi bhi or another quantified clinical assessment which is objectively showing that yes, cognitive functions are declining. So there are psycholog psych neuropsychological uh, test which help people to uh, to uh, you know to assess their cognitive functioning so a formal assessment ke through bhi pata chal raha hai ke is bande ke andar ye this is not only other people's observation or they are not saying it uh, that they, this person is declining rather there is a psychological psycho neuropsychological assessment or standardized assessment which is helping um, uh, to to verify what the others are observing then the B criteria is the cognitive deficits affect everyday activities. Um, um, as I said, ke, there are a number of activities which we do in our daily life. Um, if we, our cognitive functionings get affected, of course our daily life will get affected. आप लोगों को पहचान नहीं रहे या उनको पहचान के बार बार एक ही एक ही चीज आप रिपीट कर रहे हो या खाना नहीं खा रहे हो या अपनी अपना जो खुद सेल्फ केयर है उसका ख्याल नहीं रख पा रहे हो सो इट वुड इफेक्ट इफेक्ट इट सी डू नॉट अकर एक्सक्लूसिवली इन द कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ डिलीरियम डी आर नॉट बेटर एक्सप्लेन बाय एन अदर मेंटल डिसऑर्डर अ दूसरा मेंटल डिसऑर्डर जो है उसकी वजह से मतलब if it is mental disorder, hai, then it would not be diagnosed as neurocognitive disorder. As I earlier said, there are neurocognitive deficits, but they are not the main features. 
but here neurocognitive disorder is the main feature so um, we have seen that these these are the similar uh, criterion or diagnostic criterion uh, which we will continue to see what are the others uh, which one needs to be considered uh, prior to diagnosing somebody with neurocognitive disorders